Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today, we are going and doing things. My mom is kind of in those like final design stages, needing to pick things and make decisions about paint color, tile, flooring, roof, like, like the ceiling color, because she's going to do it in wood, like all of that type of stuff. All of her plumbing fixtures and any kind of appliances and stuff that she's putting in there is all done and decided but like other things like granite um you know just things like that so since i'm here we're gonna go around and try and make these types of decisions so i'm just getting my video live for today my vlog and um we're gonna head out it is so cold when we got here it was like in the 80s 90s and it the wind came in yesterday it's now 40 degrees so i have a big jacket that i'm gonna wear i did not uh, i kind of prepared but not 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 really, that's that's like pretty drastic of a weather change. Today's vlog will be live momentarily and I think we're gonna have to go into San Antonio obviously because that's where all the tile and the granite uh, yards are and I think she wants to attempt to try floor and decor for some of the tile um, because that was like the easiest for me too because it was like effortless, like you could pick it up. I wanted like instant gratification on some of the things that we built and tile was one of them unless I was looking for something like really specific that they didn't have but applied the right way the materials that they have are like pretty good I mean I used it the backsplash in the kitchen is from floor and decor penny tile in the guest bathroom is from floor and decor tile that I haven't even applied yet to the other bathroom is also one of them is from there but the other one I actually did order because I wanted a specific color let me get this live and we'll head out this is like a good one because this I actually toured it for you guys this was the first time i was seeing it too although i've seen the plans and uh, she's been sending me pictures and stuff it was the first time i was seeing it in real life when she draws a plan i can in my brain i can put the walls up and i can i can visually in my head walk through a space it's what I, I can do that with our kitchen renovation i could do that i could do this with this cottage you know it's like my brain can render it and i can actually see what it's going to look like and how it would feel walking from room to room and my mom can too so when we communicate it's very effortlessly because we all i already knew what space i was in that's the bathroom, that's the bedroom, you know, kind of stuff, which I feel like is a creative gift. <laughs> like, I feel like I've come to realize that not a lot of people have that um, abilities. If you can build walls in your head, we're on the, we're, we're, we're doing the, we're the same. Something I didn't realize until I was back here and pregnant is the lack of good food. <laughs> We have fast food, but everything else kind of closes. And when you're running around, kind of running errands and stuff, I feel like it's it's harder to to get your hands on food. And I have to eat like every two to three hours. Like <laughs> we're feeding a baby here. So I'm gonna make me some like yogurt and fruit to eat right now and then bring some snacks to carry me kind of through. In LA, I just I have access, so it's, it's it's easier to eat. I just have to be a lot more planned with it here and I wasn't I wasn't prepared because honestly when, when I was here I was working down here I wasn't eating the best. Blueberries Okay we made it to our first stop. We're starting with the tiling that's readily available. So we're at Florent Decor. I kind of did the math Mom's got her whole binder, her building binder here. I kind of did the math on, oh, we did this right. It's been a while since I did the math on tile, but we need about a hundred square feet of each of our projects we're working on from kitchen. Oh, you're going to have the granite go up the wall for the countertops, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So we don't need tile for the backsplash. We just need an inlay on the floor, bathroom floor tile. And lay on the floor and yes. tile around the tub walls we need about 100 square feet of each let's hope we can buy something you like i have faith you have faith because i said think did positively not, i did not i'm not really awake yet so i didn't listen to what you just said <sighs> okay i have faith in you oh in me she yes. she's putting a lot of pressure on me of this design you guys uh, I don't know how I, I feel be about the it. Client. I don't have clients. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> but I'm your mom. I just like giving advice and throw. I'm like, you could, but do what you want. You could do this, but I want you to say if it goes wrong, I don't want the responsibility. I want you to say do blue, green, or oh, those words would never come out of my mouth. <laughs> 
Yeah. I want you to tell me this. You could do this or this or this and let me pick one. I want this to be easy for me. <laughs> do, work on your own projects. That's why you Grow a baby and design your guest house. I'll try. I can try. I just did your tile. That's for you. <laughs> No. Oh, we can do it. Okay, but I can't do it. You're really gonna have to take this. <laughs> I can't get Come out. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. No. I can kind of fall out if, no. you know. You're good. Mom said, where's the baby? And that's what I look like at six weeks. And I was like, well, it, it, just well, it was depressing when we were side by side. And my <laughs> belly was as big as yours. She said this is what she looked like at six <laughs> weeks pregnant. And I said, well, it doesn't make him any smaller. He just has a bigger apartment to live in because I have a longer torso. I saw this one and thought it was really pretty. It's marble. It would be really pretty. This is the flooring. I like all the movement in it. But yeah, I mean, it would be it's $13 a square foot. That'd be it. like thirteen hundred dollars just kind of like to find the things that i like yeah. and then yeah <laughs> then it's like okay where does this fit does this fit somewhere i mean it's all all this marble is pretty much the same it's just all the different shapes mm -hmm. you know so you can get all the different I whatever you want had, uh, marble. this is the marble that i got for the shower the picket the picket mm -hmm. tile like that's this is what the shower in the cottage is going to be <laughs> going to be eventually when I, when I can lay tile again, <laughs> it will be. Uh, yeah, I just think that it's, it's like white enough to go with your plumbing things. Yeah, mm -hmm. like whether it's the sink in the kitchen or the bathtub or the sink in the bathroom. Those are pure white. So kind of need something with a white vein in it or at least a compliment. If it's gonna have any light color at all, I guess. So this New York Soho brick tile is the one that I got for the shower floor to pair with the picket marble in the cottage. We also tried it in the kitchen as the backsplash, but I opted for the a more slick green. But mom's always liked this one, so we're kind of playing around with it. it I feel like it, it definitely looks more organic than the other ones on the other side that we're looking at. You know, not so perfect. And there's lots of variation in it. It's got like warmth and cool. Let's like warm and cool. Would you lay it in a straight pattern? You think? I really never liked it. Brick? Totally brick. Yeah. You're just gonna do a lot more cuts like that. Mm -hmm. I know. A harder install. Okay, there. Loading it up for us. That's that's a good one. I mean, I've obviously always liked it because it's picked it <laughs> for obvious reasons but if you ever wanted to see mom keeps a physical binder for her bills like everything is in here i keep a digital one because i just have it on my phone and i just i, I thought you were gonna say because <laughs> You're younger. Because I'm younger. I'm you know, I, I don't know. We, we, see, we had to go back home and get this. Yeah. <laughs> Only because I forgot it. Well, right. But it does work with like samples and stuff. Like with paint samples, I have like a little a pouch that I carry around. But kind of so you can see what's like in it. Obviously, paint samples, flooring samples. So you can compare. Because when you're in a store, colors are deceiving. And you just like can't can't tell and then she has it broken up by room like living room kitchen bath she has the plans she's got her cute things that she's found at flea markets she's got her doors again salvaged it's kind of a house kitchen, in, a in a box house, couch uh, cow house, in, house a in a binder house in a binder <laughs> hardware Anything and everything that she can either match Hard and use. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Bye. Have a good day.
time. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had them load it for me. I'm always like, I do it, me do it. And then I, I got pregnant. I, I was, you're pregnant and I'm old. They, yeah. they helped us. Yeah, it, was, it was quite easy. <laughs> uh, lighting, uh, stools that she's got, everything that she can refer. Or if someone asks her, like the builder, contractor, somebody, She's like, blah, 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 blah. here it have is. all the measurements, too. All the measurements. The plans are in here. And specifications so, of, like, toilets and sinks. Because the one you have, like, when you've picked your uh, plumbing fixtures and your appliances and things, they all come with their very specific instructions. Like, I always tend to, like, dual ranges. And when you have, a like, a dual range oven, it's both electric and gas. Well, what kind of gas? Is it natural gas? Is it propane? Is it, you know, like, what kind of, like, plugs do you need? Do you need 110 or 220? A very, very specific to the ones that you picked, and and you need to have that. So I always keep mine, you know, in digital format so I can print and then give it to them or just, like, send it to them. But in case you guys were ever wondering what the big, what the big binder really li looks like, it's a portfolio, basically, for her build. We successfully found one maybe two of our things that we can cross off our list um, pavers for outside potentially we got a sample and the flooring for the inlay in the kitchen so now we need bathroom and we know that they don't have it so you want to go to doll tile uh is, there's nowhere else that we can ready made besides a hardware store i don't think you're gonna find what you want at lowe's or home depot I haven't had that success. Okay, so let's go to... From experience. Doll tile, we can always ask because sometimes they have things that are uh, readily available already. Okay. Or they have what, remember I got my doll tile and they were it was a discontinued mm -hmm. one and then they had that doll tile at a discontinued warehouse that I was just able to call and get it. Okay, we have arrived at doll tile. I actually did get one uh, doll tile, like I mentioned, like one doll tile um they had a lot of things that i liked i was just able to find alternatives that were either cheaper or red more readily available one of them was discontinued and i did find a for a steal for the bathroom the behind my tub and they also have a stone yard so mm, down, my favorite place yeah so we can go look at countertops and pick that too found a pretty pattern i feel like it's subtle and it's there but it's subtle enough that you won't get super like tired of it oh you like it that's a li i like it babe. <laughs> i like it <laughs> i haven't seen that before that dark with the base i can ask her if she has a sample oh you, yeah you can't i don't think they come out of that that's just to show you the color that's really pretty Mom says I'm hired. <laughs> for real. <laughs> she really, together we found the perfect pairing for the bathroom. So the bathroom is, is done. <gasps> How'd we do that in a day? Ooh, in a visit. In, yeah. Well, actually two. But. So now, yeah, so now we're gonna go, same company, just down a little bit. They have their granite quartz, all your countertop stones. Uh, we're gonna go take a look at that, but that's not, we don't need our bathroom samples. We just need this floor and the sample that we just got from Floor and Decor, the New York Soho one, because that's gonna go in the kitchen. We need to make sure that that's gonna look good uh, with the countertop, which it's really versatile, so I know it will, but you still wanna look. <laughs> She's spinning in her happy place. <laughs> this is mom. 
Always uh, it is the best part i feel like it's besides like the walls going up and it becoming real this is pretty good okay. so i got uh a doll towel i got the soapstone yes for the countertop here yes. they had the best soapstone because it was the darkest it didn't have a lot of blue in it the soapstone can naturally have a lot of blue these are all just, what is it we're in the quartz you don't even want quartz do you quartzite quartzite <laughs> You get to know, like, the more you look around, the more you know about these types of stones, you start to know which uh, cost the most. Blue is always more Oh, blue. level seven? Is blue is always expensive. Blue? Anything yeah, like anything. Water. Yeah, it looks like water. Yeah, it's really rare. It's really rare. I don't know it when it jumps out and grabs you. That's what I knew about the Avatar one for the, for the island. I just, I was like, love this. So much. Taj Mahal quartzite. Deep water. It could be cool, actually. That could be cool. This is pretty. It's got pink in it, though. This match your chairs. <laughs> Mom's got these Victorian chairs that she got in an estate sale and they're really beautiful, but they're a purple blue and she keeps thinking that they're not purple and I keep telling her, those are purple. So I found her a paint swatch in one of our books that matched it so that she could see how purple it is. <laughs> I said, this could be, it's like this. Black orchid. It's called black orchid is a paint color that matches it, yeah. Well, black orchid can be blue. It doesn't say purple. Black it's orchid not. means nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, you, we're both right. Ooh, tiger. Jason. Jason would love that. Yeah, my brother. Not a thing. There's a lot less here than when we were looking for countertops before, for sure. Um, they have a lot more like boxes and stuff. So, we're gonna go to Blackstone, which is where I found the granite for the island. Oh my gosh, they they still have it. It's in the same spot. It's in the same spot. See, I didn't get a lot of them because they had so much of this yellow. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like I spilled mustard on it. Made in Italy. Origin Brazil. Granite. Level 7. I still love it today. I'd buy it all over again. This is interesting. Blue and green, but... Mom's always really liked this marble. It's called Fantasy Brown. Um, I just always remember Fantasy. And it has a leather texture on it, so it's more matte finish. It has like a matte, you know, kind of like, kind of like honed. Is leather, leather to step further than honed? Step more matte or more? Leather, it almost has like a leather look. It's almost like dimpled. It's like a yeah. rough texture. Mm -hmm. Honed is just matte. Kind of, yeah. kind of, yeah, it's hard yeah. to get real smooth but not shiny. This, I mean, the movement's beautiful, it definitely has like a purple hue. This is gorgeous. Oh, Calcutta honed marble. Look at this piece of Calcutta marble, mom. I know it's not as, as busy as and it has it doesn't have that movement, but it's pretty. It's more simple, you don't like it. I don't like this. Well, no, but isn't there more pieces probably? Mm. Maybe, maybe not. I love this one. It's hard to see when they're stacked like this, but that one's pretty. I love this part. <laughs> We're back. Kids, you want a treat? So 
as I start talking, she always wants to treat. I've been trying to get really good at making sure that I'm aware when she's barking so it doesn't kill you guys' ears, you know? I think I've, got, I've gotten so used to her talking to me when I'm talking that I'm focused on you guys and I don't hear her <laughs> talking. <laughs> Barking. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to LA. We had a great trip to Texas to see my parents and there were a lot of down days while we were there. I didn't I didn't vlog. I just kind of like spent some quality time because I think it's pretty much the last time that I'm going to be traveling before the baby. I know as we get closer, I won't really be able to fly and it was kind of just the last trip, but my mom will be coming here. We got back and I finished up my spring refresh video. So I've been working a lot on and just kind of like refreshing the house, decluttering, cleaning up, gearing up for our next project, which is really exciting. But if you haven't seen the spring refresh video, I'll leave it linked because it was like, it feels really good in the house. A little bit lighter. It, it feels like there's some new things around that have a lighter color palette. It's feeling like winter is finally behind us. And I did bring back some pieces from the cottage because we act, Romeo and I actually ended up boxing up some things like bringing boxes on the planes with plane with us and checking them as, as luggage. And I brought a few things. I found a few things and I brought a few things. I'll show you those pieces while I wait for our, <laughs> the arrival of a very, very special person, a contractor. A contractor is on his way to take a look at our kitchen, to start our kitchen renovation. I'm getting quotes and bids from people. And this particular one that I'm meeting with is actually Drew's contractor, which I've already met. He was so nice when I met him. Drew's obviously worked with him a lot. So that kind of like holds a lot of weight for me. So I'm excited for him to see the space. And as soon as I told him, I'm like five, six months pregnant, he was like, I'm coming over now. <laughs> we gotta like take a look at the kitchen because we've got like three months. When I was looking in my stash, because I occasionally do that, it's like shopping my own stuff, which I love to do. I remembered and I, I saw it on the on my shelf in the guest bedroom at the cottage, this plate. Now I have found two pieces in this collection here in LA. So this is like the plate itself. And these are the two pieces that I found at an estate sale here in LA. It was the bowl, the big bowl, the serving bowl, and the platter. So now I have a plate, a platter, and a serving bowl. <laughs> Pretty much all serving things, um, but it's the same pattern. So I have all the pieces together that I found. I had two of these vases, they're so pretty. It's actually one of you guys that found them at a, or, or DMs me on Instagram, that you had seen these at a thrift store near you and sent me a picture and I was like, oh my gosh, are you still close to that thrift store? Do you think they're still there? I love them, I'll buy them from you. And so you were nice enough to go back and get them for me <laughs> so that I would have them. And they were so pretty. So I kept one at the cottage and I brought one here and they were like brown birds. I just thought that was so pretty, especially like for spring and stuff, you know, they have like smaller vases um, like this. It's just like really cute. So I brought, I brought that one back. And this, I had two of these as well. One of them at the cottage, it holds all of our Nespresso coffee pods. And I like it a lot. Cause I've just been using this vase and it's not the same, like I just like it. And I wasn't using this one for anything at the cottage. So we're gonna be transferring all of our pods into this container. I also brought this back. This looks like I got it at the Lost Cal at the, this is like her tags at the flea market. Vintage ceramic egg and relish platter on pedestal. It was $9. If you follow me along in the holiday season, you know I love to make deviled eggs. It started with me making deviled eggs because it was something that was easy for me to make and, and I, I don't know, it was just like an easy potluck kind of thing to bring. It kind of stuck and then everyone loved them and then they wanted me to bring, bring them every year. Make them, they're very like slippery. So you kind of need an egg holder of some kind and I have a couple here that I've thrifted, but this one was really, really pretty. It holds two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I also brought this antique crock back. Got this at, I think an antique store. Is it upside down? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I got this at an antique store and I loved the color a lot. And I was like, ooh, we're gonna about to do the kitchen renovation. I want something like this to go in my pretty like cabinets that I'm gonna have for storage. And then also I saw an inspiration picture 
on Instagram, um, someone had like a croc like this, but had their rolling pins like sticking out of it, like their rollers and rolling pins. Why does that sound wrong? Why did I picture bowling? You know, like the, gosh, I don't know if I have one around here. I guess I don't use that a lot. But anyways, they had like, it was like a utensil holder kind of thing. This one's a little large, but I felt like it was like so pretty. So I brought this one back and I brought this cutting board that I had. It was kind of just tucked away. This is so pretty. I loved the handle, how it's like at a point. It was just like more unique. I always look for like, more unique kind of breadboards and cutting boards when I'm like at places than the things that we found. I brought back. So it was actually really good. I brought some other things back that I put in the video, like my pretty pillow with the uh, yellow floral pattern on it. It's on our bed now, if you didn't see the uh, spring refresh video. Brought that, I brought a piece of my mom's art that she painted that I just wasn't able to enjoy. Swapped out my thinking man that you guys saw me put on my easel for her art. You can see it right there. And then I put the pillow on our bed and I love it. It's kind of darker in here now, but I put the pillow on our bed right there. I think, I think the contractor's here and I'm very excited about it. Oh yeah, he's here. Okay, this is gonna go really well, but you will hear about it soon, I hope. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and coming with us to Texas. We're back, we're starting new projects. I've got things on order, you know, like the curtains for the nursery and stuff. And hopefully we can get this kitchen like started and like get it rolling so that in the next three months, we're ready for baby, baby to come. And I'm really, really excited. So I'll see you guys again in a few days for another vlog. Bye guys. <laughs>